given question a shaft showed in diagram carries two rotors a and b the mass of rotor a is 300 kg with radius of gyration 0.75 m while the mass of rotor b is 500 kg with radius of gyration of 0.9 m find the natural frequency of torsional vibration it is desired to have the node at mid section of shaft of diameter 120 mm by changing the diameter of the portion of shaft having 90 mm diameter what would be the new diameter assume g is equal to 84 into 10 raised to 9 newton per meter square in this question there are two rotors connected with the help of shaft with different length and different diameters let us understand the question with the help of diagram we have to show rotor a and then we will show the first section of the shaft of length l1 0.3 m with diameter d1 0.1 m then the second section is of length l2 0.16 m and diameter d2 0.15 m then the third section of length 0.125 m and d3 0.12 m and the fourth and last section is 0.4 m length that is l4 with d4 0.09 m and then the rotor b now these two rotors a and b is having some mass moment of inertia so how to calculate this mass moment of inertia so masses for a and b is mentioned in the question and the radius of gyration that is ka and kb is also mentioned so because these two rotors are not identical that is mass is different and radius of gyration is also different so the mass moment of inertia we have to calculate separately so first ia is equal to ma k a square so when we put the value then we will get the answer 168.75 kg meter square and ib that is mb k b square which is equal to 500 into 0.9 square that is 405 kg meter square now we will move to calculate equivalent length of the shaft so we have to first draw the torsionally equivalent shaft because the shaft is having different diameter and different length so we will draw here one shaft with uniform diameter and some particular length now this uniform diameter that is d equivalent we have to assume any particular value so i will say here d equivalent which is equal to 0.4 meter now for this d equivalent 0.4 meter what is the equivalent length that is l equivalent we have to find out so how to find out so for that we have to take the reference of this actual system so this is the actual system and this is the equivalent system so l equivalent is equal to we have to take l1 into d equivalent by d1 raised to 4 plus l2 into d equivalent by d2 raised to 4 plus l3 into d equivalent by d3 raised to 4 plus l4 into d equivalent by d4 raised to 4 so when we put the value because d equivalent is 0.4 value of d1 d2 d3 d4 are known and also the value of l1 l2 l3 l4 are also known so when we put this value and calculate then we will get the answer 0.2564 into 10 raised to 3 meter so we will mention here 0.2564 into 10 raised to 3 so this is the equivalent length of the shaft now we know that these rotors rotate in opposite direction and therefore the free torsional vibration occurs in the system so i will show here the direction of rotation so suppose this is rotating in clockwise direction then this rotor will rotate in anti clockwise direction and that's why for these vibration some amplitudes are developed and these amplitude are also in opposite direction now we will draw here one horizontal line and then we will show the amplitude so suppose amplitude for this rotor a is in upward direction then the amplitude of rotor b should be in downward direction 
Now we have to join these two amplitudes. So I will show here amplitude as a A1 for rotor A and here amplitude as a A2 for rotor B. Now here we will get the point of intersection along this horizontal line. Now at this point of intersection is known as node and at this node amplitude of vibration is zero. Now if we measure the distance of this N from this rotor A then we will mention here if we measure the distance of this point N from the rotor A then we will get N A value and if we measure the distance of this N from rotor B then we will get L B value. So we have to calculate this L A and L B. Now this node N is for equivalent system. So remember this is the actual system and this is the equivalent system. Now for equivalent system L equivalent is known and D equivalent is assumed. And for this equivalent system we have considered one particular point N. And for this point N here is the length LA and this is the length LB. Now we have to find out this LA and LB. Because the next question is to find out the natural frequency. So the formula for natural frequency is applicable to this equivalent system only. So how to calculate this LA and LB? Now from the diagram we know that this L equivalent is equal to LA plus LB. And we have also one formula IALA is equal to IBLB. Now what is this IA? Mass moment of inertia of A and IB mass moment of inertia for B. So if we put the value because IA and IB we have calculated. So when we put the values then we will get the relation LA is equal to 2.4 LB. And when we simplify we will get LA minus 2.4 LB is equal to 0. So this is the equation number 1. And equation number 2 LA plus LB is equal to 0 0.2564 into 10 raised to 3. That is 2, 256 256.4 meter. So LA plus LB. So this is the second equation. Now when we solve these two equations then we will get the value of LA. So LA is equal to 180.9882 meter and LB is equal to 75.4117 meter. Now we will calculate the natural frequency which is applicable to this equivalent system. So formula is 1 by 2 pi under root of G J equivalent by IALA which is equal to 1 by 2 pi under root of G J equivalent by IBLB. Now what is this J equivalent? So it is related to the shaft and J equivalent that is the polar moment of inner shaft for the shaft. Now when these rotors rotate in opposite direction free vibration occurs and there is some resistance from the shaft side because this shaft is connected to these rotors and this resistance is known as polar moment of inertia and this resistance is against the torsional vibrations in these rotors. So how to calculate this? So J equivalent is equal to pi by 32 into diameter that is D equivalent raised to 4. So by using this formula we can calculate this J equivalent. Now we can put the value of IA which we have uh, calculated earlier and we will we can put the value of LA also which we have calculated. G is the modulus of rigidity and it is provided or this value is given in the question. So when we put all the values then natural frequency Fn is equal to 13.2322. Hertz. Now we will move to the next question new position of node in actual system. It is given that it is required to have the new position of node at the middle point of the section 3. That means we can say that this value of x is equal to L3 by 2. But at the same time when the node point N lies at the middle point of the section 3 then there should be the 
changes in diameter for this section 4. So original diameter is D4. But when the node point x is equal to L3 by 2, then the new diameter will be D4 dash. Now what is the value of x? That is 0 0.125 by 2. And when this x is equal to 0 0.125 by 2, then we have to find out the value of this D4 dash. So how to find out? So we will apply here the formula for the node position in actual system. So this is the actual system and with reference to this diagram, we will see the, what is the formula. Now we will find out the distance from this rotor A, that is LA. So how to find out this? So after LA there is section 1, then section 2 and at this section 3 there is node point at a distance x. So we will write here the formula LA is equal to L1 into D equivalent by D1 raised to 4 plus L2 into D equivalent by D2 raised to 4 plus L3. Now here instead of L3 we have to consider only this half position because the node point is at the middle point. So instead of L3 we will take L3 by 2 that is x into D equivalent by D3 raised to 4. So when we find out this because x is known L3 by 2 that is 0 0.125 by 2. So when we put the value then we will calculate the LA is equal to 92.6069 meter. Now we will calculate the value of LB. So we have formula or we have formula for the relation in between LA and LB. So here IA LA is equal to IB LB. So value of IA and IB is calculated. LA is also known. So LB is equal to 38.5862 meter. Now this is the distance of this node point from the rotor B. Now this LB is known. Now again we will apply the formula for the new position of node in actual system. But this time we will measure the uh, distance from this rotor B. So after rotor B if we observe or if we move towards the left hand side there is section 4 with diameter D4 dash and length L4 and then there is the section 3 that is we have to take the measure the distance up to this point N only. So here we have to measure this distance and suppose this distance is also equal to X because this X is equal to L3 by 2 so remaining distance is also equal to L3 by 2. So this distance is also known so we can Calculate this with the help of diagram because this is the middle point. So we have to take measure the distance LB by considering this half section and this full section. But at this time we have to take the D4 dash because when node point is here at the middle point then D4 will convert into D4 dash. Now we will write here the formula. So LB is equal to L4 into D equivalent by D4 dash raised to 4 plus L3 by 2 into D equivalent by D3 raised to 4. Now we will put the value. So LB value is known only one unknown term that is D4 dash. So when we calculate this D4 dash we will get the answer 0 0.1349 meter.